So today we'll talk about anterior cervical discectomy and fusion, and also a second procedure called cervical arthroplasty. Uh, one has a different set of, uh, of uh, indications, so both address cervical radiculopathy and even cervical myelopathy. Uh, in the first case, in an anterior cervical discectomy and fusion, the disc is removed from an anterior approach in the neck, either from the left side or the right side, making an incision at the level of where the disease is expected to be, which is confirmed with fluoroscopy. Once we do that and we do an exposure through the natural planes of the tissues, carefully retracting the important structures along the way, we are able to uh, expose the disc that is causing the trouble, place in uh, posts, and be able to carefully under high microscope remove this disc. This is identical in both cervical arthroplasty and cervical uh, anterior cervical discectomy and fusion. The difference applies is once you remove the disc, what is your next step? Do you fuse or do you place an arthroplastic uh, device which maintains motion? In fusion, your goal is for the patient, you, to uh, be able to fuse that segment with your own natural bone, which will occur over a six to nine month course. In arthroplasty, we don't want you to fuse. We're gonna place an arthroplastic device in that inner space so that you will maintain your natural motion. <clears throat> there are certain indications where an arthroplasty is the best way to go, such as if you're on the young side or you're active, or you're worried that adjacent segment disease could occur and you really have disease limited to the nerve root. On the other hand, if you have very severe joint disease and you also have adjacent severe joint disease and a plethora of other factors, one may lead to deciding on an anterior cervical discectomy infusion. And certainly this burden of decision doesn't rest in your lap, it really rests in my lap. And what I would do is explain what the options are and why I think one option is superior over the other.